if you don't count Rockstar patching every single little glitch that we ever come up with in the glitch community, then the next most infuriating thing for a glitcher, and even for just legitimate players as well, is the daily sell limit. Now, of course, in a previous video, I have gone into detail as to what the daily sell limit is and where it actually came from. And basically, it was an algorithm that forced you to be unable to sell vehicles when it's suspected that you are an exploiter of the game, or in other words, a glitcher. And of course, I covered a various number of factors as to how you guys might hit the daily sell limit. So feel free to head down into the comment section, look at my pinned comment, I will leave a link in the description of the video that I did on the DSL. But in this video, I'm going to be taking a more specific route of action, okay? In this video, I'll be discussing what to actually do if you hit the DSL. The video that I've got in the description and the comments that one is more focused on avoiding the DSL, but what if you actually hit it? Well, in this video, that's exactly what I am going to be doing, and I am James Merlot, and I will be showing you guys exactly what to do if you guys hit the DSL and how to get off of it. So, let's get started. Now, the first thing I should say is, the main thing is patience. Okay, sadly, there's no kind of glitch or exploit or anything like that that can help you get off the DSL immediately. To do so, you would actually have to hack into Rockstar's servers, okay, which, of course, we're not going to be doing. So, what do we do? The main thing, the main key element is patience. You guys cannot sell vehicles for a while, okay? If you've hit it once, you guys are going to have to wait about two weeks, if you've hit it twice, you guys might have to wait three weeks. And so the more times you hit the DSL, the longer that you guys are going to have to end up waiting. But there is a couple of other factors as well. So this is something that's becoming very common in my comment section in terms of people asking me uh, regarding the DSL. And it's actually one of my first go-tos in terms of questioning them about their situation. Now, I should make a disclaimer. The DSL affects people differently for different reasons, so in order to get the most accurate response I can give you, if you guys have a more specific situation that I do not cover in this video, please feel free to head down into the comment section and tell me all about it, and I'll do my best to help you and as soon as possible. But the first thing I wanted to go over is Dirty Dupes. Now, Dirty Dupes, I also did another video on. I'll leave that in the pinned comment as well. But Dirty Dupes are basically vehicles that people duplicated that have been dupe detected. So the game knows that they're duplications. The game knows that you exploited the game to create that duplication in order for you to make money. And so, therefore, it's sort of like a bad thing to have, okay, in terms of being on the DSL. Now, normally... You guys would be able to sell like 20 vehicles in a row without hitting the daily sell limit. But with Dirty Dupes, you guys might only be able to sell 3 or 4, if that, before you hit the daily sell limit. Now, once you hit the daily sell limit, after about 24 hours, you guys will be able to sell one more vehicle. However, you will hit the daily sell limit again. Okay, that's why you guys got to wait two weeks or three weeks, because if you guys only wait that one day, you guys will only be able to sell one vehicle. Whereas if you guys wait the two weeks, your DSL resets completely, unless of course you've hit the DSL numerous times consecutively. Now, basically with Dirty Dupes, you guys will hit the DSL a lot easier. Okay, and therefore... When that happens, you guys will only be able to sell one vehicle per day. Now, you guys could go ahead and do that. However, patience isn't the only thing that comes into factors if you have dirty dupes. Because if you have dirty dupes in your garage, it's like the game is continuously punishing you. It knows you have dirty dupes. So I want you guys to imagine you guys have been sentenced to prison for a single day. All right, for possession of an illicit substance, okay? However, at the end of that day, your sentence gets extended by one more day because you still have that illicit substance on you. And that consecutively happens day after day after day until eventually you come to your senses and realize, 
I cannot have this illicit substance on me and therefore I need to go ahead and get rid of it. So if you guys have dirty dupes, get rid of them, okay? It's not worth selling them because like I said, the more times you guys hit the daily sell limit, the longer you guys are going to have to end up waiting. Put them all in a garage or garages, depending on how many you have, and make sure that the garage is full, and then go ahead and head over to Legendary Motorsport and purchase a free LG RH8. Select the garage that has the dirty dupes in them, and then go ahead and select the dirty dupes, because then that will overwrite the dirty dupes and replace them with free elegies. Only once those are gotten rid of, that patience will become a factor. Okay, so if you guys have dirty dupes and have hit the DSL two times, I would suggest waiting a month and then you guys will have become fully DSL reset. Unless, of course, there are other circumstances that are preventing you guys from getting off of the DSL. In which case, I would need a hour-long video in order to cover everything and I don't think anybody wants to sit through a video that long. So feel free to head down to the comment section and tell me all about your situation and I'll do my best to help you. But anyway, that is just a broad overview spectrum. If you guys hit the DSL normally, if you guys are a legitimate player, then patience is the key factor. Okay, so two weeks if you guys hit the DSL once. And add another week for each time that you guys hit the DSL and you guys are pretty much in the good, in the clear, I should say. Anyway, aside from all that, you guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a thumbs up. If you guys did not enjoy the video, feel free to leave a dislike. And if you guys are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. And aside from all that, you guys, I have been James Merlot and I will see you guys in the next video. Auf Wiedersehen.